Since it's really fun and I've done it before at night, I'm going to give a little demonstration of mixing potassium permanganate with uh, some glycerin and watching the wonderful, awesome flame that it makes, which is super cool. So I'm going to show the procedure really quick on how uh, I mix things together and then just wash the flame. should be really quick. So I've, I've done this before with a glass container and it broke it. Uh, but I'm going to try ceramic this time with these nice little grapes and hopefully it won't break it. But if it does, that would be sad because it's a nice little jar thing. But in any case, I'm going to use my mass balance and measure out roughly uh, 50 grams of the potassium permanganate into the container. Go for 75. Okay, so this is glycerin. It's uh, actually this is like icing thickener. You can get it from like a food store, uh, but it has glycerin in it, which is the tri alcohol molecule with three carbons. And I'm going to put some of this in a beaker. I'm going to kind of guesstimate the amount. Maybe like 2 grams here. Might be closer to 3 grams, but I think it's about 2 grams. I'm going to dissolve it in isopropyl alcohol. Since there's some thickening agents in the glycerin, I'm going to just kind of douse it in alcohol. So since I have roughly 2 grams of that, Glycerin, I'm going to use like 30 milliliters of this 91% isopropyl alcohol and use that to mix just to make a nice steady solution. I'm going to take this outside with the potassium permanganate, making sure that they do not touch at all until it's time because it will be horribly dangerous. Okay, here goes. Okay. Or you're just saying if they're first. I think I have too much of the. There we go. Mm -hmm. So that is the reaction between potassium permanganate and glycerin at night. So thanks for watching, guys. You can uh, like if you think it was wonderful, and I'll see you next time.